morning, everybody. A dark morning, but cool and comfortable. All the birds are out. As I said, the little meat birds are out with the big meat birds. One somehow got out, out. But they find their way back in or hang close anyway. Um, raining on and off all day. I hear thunder right now, but I want to go in the garden. Got a little bucket here. I'm going to harvest our first ever garden harvest of sugar snap peas. Melanie gave me scissors to make it neat for the plants. Not really necessary, but whatever. So our first harvest this year of anything from our garden, except for lettuce, but we've been eating lettuce all along. Growing them upright like this makes it easier to harvest. Not a lot, but it'll make a meal. Stir fry. Food on the vine. I like eating them right out of the garden myself. They're sweet, they're good, I think that's it. More than enough for a stir fry. Missed out, Melanie's already cut some of that, but look at the size. Melanie, put your hand next to that. No, like next to it, I don't. Yeah. Look at the size of that. That's our. That's from our birds, right? Yeah. That's one chicken breast, and she already cut off some. I got some. That's so crazy. Look at the knife is puny next to that thing. Wow. <laughs> that's our birds. Yeah. That's bigger than commercial. That's bigger from the grocery store. Mm -hmm. That's half the size of a chicken from the grocery store. Yep. Wow. What are you making? I'm gonna make a. Adobo with gata. It's with a chicken with coconut milk. But what's all this? That's a lot of pieces. Uh, it's from the wings. Yeah, but you're not cooking all this at once, are you? I'm going to cook with the pressure cooker, so it's just... Oh, so it's all done ahead yeah, of time. Yeah, Interesting. Look at the size of that thing. That's just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey guys, I uh, am wood burning images into driftwood. I think hopefully you can recognize what that is. Uh, I've got some driftwood pieces that Melanie and I picked up the other day. And the laser is brighter than ever today, so I don't know how this looks on camera. I can't even look at it today with the uh, protective goggles on. So um, I can't see what, I'm, what you're seeing until later. But uh, that's supposed to be a beautiful um, cabin on the lake scene on a piece of driftwood. So we'll see how it looks in a few minutes. Um, using the laser engraver from Banggood. And uh, I'm just going to finish that review up here pretty soon. I um, have been trying it out and experimenting extensively with what it can do. 
So uh, I'm very impressed, I'm very pleased, and I'm just about to wrap it up here soon. Now, now that I've burned on a variety of um, types of material, like the driftwood and done also the cutouts and stuff, I mean, this this was a challenge, getting this tiny little piece onto the, uh, getting, getting the laser image centered on a piece of rough driftwood like that. But I'm very pleased now with my results, and uh, I think I can get um, consistent results every time now, now that I know how to use the machine. So that's what I'm doing today while it rains and it's hot and humid. Um, it started out 67 degrees this morning, and it was beautiful. Well, rainy, but comfortable and then it became 86 and um 80 percent humidity and thunderstorms on and off so i'm in the electronics lab well there's a little lake and mountain scene um i'm getting the size and the positioning perfect on the driftwood so i'm very pleased with that the cabin didn't come out um, it's really hard to burn on driftwood because it's a it's a different quality material. So the cabin is in there, but it blended in with the black. I think because the the resolution of the image or the uh, the size of the image being shrunk down so much, the cabin blended into the background a bit, which is to be expected, I guess, in this case. But still a pretty neat scene. You can see the trees clearly, very very well. So. Now I'm doing a um, bass jumping out of the water, so we'll see how that works out. Anyway, I'm just uh, using my time, and any, I can sell these pieces of driftwood on my recycled pallet products site, because it is recycled material. There's a cool piece. This one was just screaming to be a fish jumping out of the water. So, anyway, I'm having fun. So I put up a deer barrier, and this is just a deer barrier. It's not going to stop anything but deer. And it seems effective because I haven't lost a thing in the garden yet, except for to a rabbit that's bugging me. The uh, ground squirrels don't bother the adult plants, but the uh, rabbits do. And something got in here and clipped off some buckwheat last night. I don't know what. Um, just some heads were ripped off so I would guess either rabbit or deer because of the way they were cut but I guess buckwheat is a good forage um, herb for deer as well which 
is not exactly my goal. So, um, I've got expansion room here to put another row in. Another two foot walkway, another four foot garden row. And over here, once the vines are ripped out next year, I'll have a two foot walkway and a four foot garden row. So I've planned in for future expansion. And as soon as I clip the wire over there, I will turn on the power and this will be energized. And then this garden plot will be protected from the deer as well. And that'll be pretty much it. I'm still laser burning in the wood shop, but I'll show you that when I got it all together in the house. Well guys, I got the original boat which you saw, which turned out alright. Um, different pieces of driftwood uh, perform differently. Here is a uh, boat dock with a bunch of boats around it, which turned out so-so. And I noticed that this lighter type of driftwood burns better and retains the image better. This darker type of driftwood is, uh, you can obviously tell what that is, and I like this one very well. This one's fine. But, once you get over to here, I think I mentioned that earlier, the cabin is gone in the detail. It's lost. And it's this darker wood um, burns too much. Here's a textured wood. This is a total flop. I'm not even going to do anything with that, but it's a good experience. It's a very textured wood surface, very cracked and aged from being wet and dried so much. And um, that was a, uh, a sailboat with a bunch of sails and a lot of rigging, which didn't show up. Here was another one of these lighter colored wood, and the scene itself was no good. I tried a very simple mountain scene with some trees by a lake, but the quality of the image itself was no good at all, so that was just out. And here I was experimenting, here is pallet wood, and obviously you can see it's two men in a canoe uh, rowing in rough seas. Here I did it small, and you can see what it is. You can see the image, but I'm not as pleased as compared to the pallet wood. So this, this uh, driftwood burns, you can see the blurring in the lines. And then I... This was smaller, I made it bigger here, and then I copied that here, just to see the difference. And you can see that the, um, I can see it as it's burning, the driftwood um, actually burns with a flame as you're wood burning. So I've got to figure out how to adjust the laser for that. But I think I've got an idea here that's going to be very beautiful for sale on my websites. Tell me what you think, guys. Actually, this one here using scrap pieces of pallet wood. I think I'm just going to randomly do that with, with different images here and there. Whatever I feel that fits that piece better, I'm going to use all my scrap pieces like that. I mean, why not, right? 